What's up guys, NBA Talk for March 5th, 2018. It's Monday basketball for you. I'm here to talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Detroit Pistons game that went down tonight. Uh, Cavaliers win this game 112 to 90 in a change of lineup. The starting lineup was changed tonight. Uh, Tristan Thompson was out with an injury and his replacement was Larry Nance Jr., the guy who was the highlight of this game. Man, oh man, that boy wanted to prove himself, and he proved himself right. Um, played at the five, I believe, and have LeBron James at the four. Ronnie Hood was in the lineup as well, probably at the two, and then J.R. Smith at the three, or switcheroo, and then George Hill at the one. Larry Nance Jr. was the shining light tonight. Playing absolutely fantastic tonight. Played the most minutes tonight, too. Uh, rebounding the ball, playing defense, scoring with the opportunities he got. He was just nasty, man. And he made no turnovers, too. Made no turnovers. He was just fantastic, man. And I, I've been liking this dude ever since he came to the Cavaliers in the trade. He's been showing promise, and he's really showing promise. And now you might be thinking, maybe he should be in that lineup. He sh maybe you should put put him in that lineup. I feel like this is a Dennis Rodman uh, situation. Well, not him personality-wise or anything, but like someone who is gifted, someone who can really play, maybe you should put him in the starting lineup. And it might give you a different feel. It might change things up for you because you've been in a slump. This is a good way to come right back because you've been losing games. You thought you had something going, but it's been going back to where it was. And now you put him in the starting lineup. It seems to be very, very good for him. He he gives this team energy. He gives this team spacing, so to speak, uh, because he did take one three, but he missed that. But overall, he, he was the highlight tonight for sure. Uh, LeBron James, he brought it tonight. He was more of a scorer once again. Scoring for the team. He's constantly scoring for the team for the most part. Like, it's a struggle for the rest of the players to score. Uh, J.R. Smith, I'm not surprised. Like, he only took three shots in 22 minutes, people. Two, three shots in 22 minutes. That's it. Uh, George Hill had a bad game as well in 23 minutes. One for five from the field. Um, Ronnie Hood had a bad game as well. 30 minutes, 4 for 12 from the field. Uh, it ended up being the bench players. Osmond. Osmond had a very good game. Not the best kind, but something like, oh my God, you never expected from him to really play this good. Um, play defense, cross some players up, and made that jumper and made LeBron, Jammers, uh, LeBron James look like, Osmond? Is that... Is this Osman? Like, ooh. The boy crossed him up and put a J on his face. Like, mm, that's that was nasty, man. Um, Jordan Clarkson pitched in and Kyle Cora pitched in as well. So you got production off the bench for sure. Uh, I wish Jeff Green was playing. It would have been good for him. Well, I think he's going to be missing a week or maybe just tonight. I heard he was going to miss a week. So we'll see what happens then because they're going to definitely need him. They're going to definitely need another score to help spread the floor. We'll see who, who does that. Um, yeah. That's it. Um, Cavaliers win this game 112 to 90. Um, LeBron James with 31 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists in 30, uh, 29 minutes. Under 30 minutes. That's very good. Uh, Larry Nash Jr. with 22 points, 15 rebounds, 2 steals, um, 13 points from Ronnie Hood, 12 points for uh, Osmond. He picked up 6 rebounds. Jordan Clarkson picked up 11 points, and he also picked up 6 rebounds. And Clarkson, um, Kyle Korver, 11 points from him. They shot 48% from the field, 53 rebounds they picked up, and 29 assists they got. Um... Pistons, Blake Griffin, 25 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. Reggie Bullock, 11 points, 15 points from um, Andre Drummond, who also picked up 9 rebounds. And Ish Smith with 6 points. And then you got a couple people 
off the bench, Stanley with nine points, Tolliver with eight points. They definitely need another player to step up. They need Reggie Jackson. And if you're a Detroit Pistons guy, please let me know if he's coming back this season because it's been a long time since I've seen him play. What's going on? Is he going to be out for the rest of the season? Let me know. Uh, because they they are trying to get to the playoffs, um, and they're outside looking in. They're in the ninth spot. They need to get in. Gundy, the head coach, he, he needs to get in or he's out. He's going to be fired, man. Or is it you think that he should be fired? We'll see.